Hello everyone, Black Rose Duelist here, and today I have a deck profile of Black Wings. Black Wings are a deck that have been out, obviously, for like, what, in a few years, it'll be 10 years they've been out, and the deck has been growing ever since then. They're still releasing new cards, um, there's actually a new card coming out next pack, I think, um, as well as more cards, like a new one just got announced today, I think, a new level 7 Synchro. So, the deck just keeps on evolving as the format goes by. This has been one of the formats that I think Black Wings can actually be the best in uh, since its debut like 8 years ago. Um, the reason I say that is because it is a really, really good Cosmo matchup and a really good Pepe matchup. Uh, the Pepe matchup is more like 50-50, but the Cosmo matchup is definitely in Black Wings' favor. The reason for that is because the big beaters, like um, the ships, you can get over them with Kalu and easy stuff like that. You can also get over them, um, Black Sonic is basically a win condition against Pendulum, or Pepe, and against, um, Cosmos, because they'll get out their two big ships and attack you, and you can just flip over to Black Sonic, banish both of them, and then attack for a game in the next turn. It's really hard for them to recover from that, too. Um, the fact that, uh, Black Wings can inflict really big damage really quick, uh, will really help them, especially against the Cosmo matchup, because Cosmos deal damage against themselves. Um, along with that, we have other things, such as Icarus Attack, which, um, if you can get first turn, and you can go first, and you can destroy all their stuff first turn, um, while they're in the middle of doing their plays, you can really benefit. Um, things like Black Sonic, Stormy Mirror Force, Vandy's Emptiness, these are really, really easy ways to beat the Cosmo, and the Pepe matchup. Um, along with, I added uh, two mass change. All of my monsters are darks. They can all go into mass or er, mass hero dark law. Dark law. Whenever a pendulum would die, it gets banished instead. It doesn't even go to the pendulum uh, extra deck. So, because of all these things, the Pepe and Cosmo matchups are really in Blackwing's favor. On top of that, you also have, like I said, Kalut and Gale, which can half attacks. So you can get over all those big ships um, and big Pepe monsters and all that. The only thing in the stack that I kind of reconsider is Power of Duality. There's definitely times when um, I kind of want to take it out uh, because sometimes you want to go uh, all out attack, but also you want to play your Power of Duality, and you can't do that because you can't special summon when you play Power of Duality. So, if you want to replace that and have more of an offensive build, you can replace that with Upstart Goblins. That's a very easy change. Um, speaking of Upstart Goblin, Upstart Goblin is a very popular card right now, and whenever they activate Upstart Goblin, you can banish a card from their hand with Dark Law. That is a real thing, and you have to memorize that. Anyways, on to the deck. We have two Blizzard, two Bora, three Yale, three Kalut, two Chris, one Aroshi. 2 Pinaki, 3 Shura, 1 Sirocco, 1 Zephyros, 3 Whirlwind, 2 Change, Mass Change 2, 3 Power Duality, 1 Regeki, 3 Black Sonic, 1 Boundless Chapel, 3 Icarus Attack, 1 Solemn Warning, 2 Story Mirror Force, and 1 Vanity's Emptiness. For the next dark, we have 2 Dark Law, 1 Gataster, 1 Rikuri, 1 Bullies, 1 Black Rose, 1 Armor Master, 1 Obsidian. 1 Goyo, 1 Trish, 1 Abyss Dweller, 1 Castell, 1 Cowboy, 1 Diamond, and 1 Ptolemus, whatever, however you say it. <laughs> so, some choices. Um, the 3 Gale and the 3 Kalu, this might seem a bit much, but like I said earlier, um, the matchups that you do face against, Kalu's really good, and so is Gale, and, um, you're really going to want to probably side a copy out when you're playing against Pepe, because the battle phase isn't going to matter as much to gain over a pendulum as it is against the Cosmos, which will really matter. So the 3 Kalut for right now is good, especially because we have 3 Whirlwind, and it's always a good thing to add with a Whirlwind. The 3 Whirlwind is so crazy, it's that one card that makes the deck uh, able to compete speed-wise. Um, it has its defenses with Black Sonic and Icarus Attack and Storm of Mirror Force, but its speed really comes from Black Whirlwind, where you end up drawing or adding a card or two every turn. So that's really great. Um, the three Kalut and the two Chris and the two Bora, uh, this all works really well because uh, basically you kind of have your own pendulum in a way where you can special summon as many monsters as you want because usually you can just 
special summon half your hand because Bora can special summon summon itself, Gale can, and so can Chris. Um, being able to add two, basically, special summon two monsters from your deck because of Black Whirlwind is very important. Also, the 19-hander attack that Chris provides makes it so you can add anything. The one Soroko is another card that I'm kind of considering taking out. Um, I would maybe add another Chris or Bora instead of it. Um, but Soroko, it's still pretty good. It's not a bad card. Um, it's good for when you want to get over that one um, um, uh, chip. You can make, say you have a Shura, a Soroko, and a Gale. You can make all their attacks combined so you can get over that ship and maybe you do a game too. Um, game is really easy to get with Sirocco. Uh, along with um, Mass Change isn't just going to Dark Law, it's also for OTKs. Um, since it's a quick play, you can do it during your battle phase, so you can do really quick damage going like let's say Bora, Kalut, 3100, then discard a card with Mass Change, 2400, that's 5500 alone. So, like, you can do really big damage with um, Mass Change and all the Black Wings. Um, that's it for the main deck. The only thing I would say is, if you want to be more offensive, take out 3 Power Duality for 3 Upstarts. Um, for the extra deck, the 2 Dark Law works and the extra uh, Exceeds work. Um, I might take out uh, Joe or Armor Master for another Raikuri. Raikuri is great. If you don't know what it does, um, it requires one tuner, one non-tuner, so it's generic. It doesn't matter, y'all. You only play Black Wings anyways. Uh, once your turn, you can destroy uh, cards in the field up to the number of Black Wings you control. Um, other Black Wing monsters. So you have a Ray Ray Curry, and say you switch them in a Gale and a Bora. You can destroy two other cards in the field once per turn. And that's pretty great. It's also 2600, which isn't too bad. And with Kalu, you can make it 4000, so that's that. Um, overall, this deck is actually really good. Um, wait, I didn't talk about Roshi. Uh, Roshi is another one you might consider taking out, but I like it because um, you can go normal summon Shura, special summon um, Roshi, special summon Bora, going to Trish. Trish is really powerful. Anyways, like I was saying, this deck is very powerful. Um, the things like Black Sonic, Icarus Attack, Strong Mirror Force, and the extra deck like Dark Law. The deck can really compete against many decks right now, so I'd really consider trying this deck out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! 2015, as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! Christmas in my next video later today, since it's 3am right now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.